happening? Welcome back to The Past Alive, and thank you all for tuning in tonight for the monthly rip titled Needle in a Wax Stack, where I go back and I rip open older baseball card boxes, trying to pull these rare, hard-to-find autographs, error cards, whatever it may be. Tonight, we are visiting a product that I have not yet done for this series. We have before us a blaster box of 2006 Tops Series 1, and in this series, to be exact, a very hard-to-pull rookie card it's also an error that was never supposed to be printed and most of you may be familiar with it some of you may not be Alex Gordon's rookie card for the Kansas City Royals was never supposed to be in this set but somehow they got seated in the packs in the early packs I should say and a lot of them were destroyed a lot of them also made their way into these packs so how rare is the Alex Gordon card you might ask I think there's only several hundred that have been documented. If you go on eBay right now and you type in Alex Gordon Rookie Error, you may see one on there. You may see a couple on sold listings. Pricing-wise, they kind of bounce around. I see some sold recently for 900 bucks in the last couple months. Others sold for like four or 500 So it's almost one of those cards that, like, if you see it, it might be better to just buy it outright for a good price instead of open blaster boxes. But for me, it's all about the thrill of the chase and to pull these hard to find cards and these 06 blaster boxes they're very tough to track down i think i paid about 40 bucks for this uh, when they do pop up they seem to be around 40 50 bucks somewhere in that range but i grabbed this i wanted to open something different for the needle and wax stack series instead of you know 90s and stuff like that but also looking for mickey mantle insert cards home run history possible alex rodriguez autograph um you have exclusive cards you may find like Declaration of Independence, cut signature cards, bonds, home run history. But anyways, let's get down to it. We have 10 packs inside of here, plus one extra three-card hot pack exclusive to Walmart. So 10 packs in our hot pack. I guess we will open this first. I see a 1981 design, Mark Teixeira on top of here. And Alex Rodriguez on the back. Kind of almost reminds me of... The old serial cards, put in the cellophane like that. Teixeira, David Ortiz, 97 Tops design. And there is an Alex Rodriguez, 2003 Tops design, I believe that is. So that's our hot pack, I guess. And then the other 10 packs we have here. Let's find an Alex Gordon. I, I've read online that there were maybe or at least one guy that uh, opened a few boxes back in 2006 and pulled like two or three of these Alex Gordons per pack. In a couple different ones. So we're going to mantle insert the very first pack. Nick Johnson's going to lead off. 06 wasn't really a great rookie class. Not in my opinion at least. Sean Figgins. There is the mantle home run number one. And Bartolo Colon is going to end that first pack. And you can still find other variations of the Alex Gordon on eBay. If you look on there, you'll see ones where they literally left the border and just cut his picture out of it. Those ones... They sell for around 200 bucks. Because once Tops realized that, they destroyed a whole bunch of them. I guess the stipulation is to be and actually have a rookie card in the base set. You had to play in at least one major league game and you had to be on the roster. And um, Alex Gordon did not qualify. Brad Radke, Johnny Damon, and Francisco Liriano rookie card along with the Propaganda Peace. And Anna LaRoche ends the second pack. Pack number three. We have an Albert Pujols starting things off. Looks like we got a Barry Bonds home run history coming up. Billy Wagner is a Berkman. Jason Phillips, 668, 2004. And an Oakland A's team card to end that pack. I was going to do this video live, and I'm like, eh, you know, it's going to be a very quick rip. Only 10 packs. I do have another blaster box of these, so I will be saving that for another episode of Needle and Wax Deck somewhere down the road. Adam Dunn starts it off. Ryan Howard, Rookie of the Year, checklist card. And Sean Markham, Rookie card, ends that pack. Getting to be about halfway through the box here. Chipper Jones. Starts it off. Manny Ramirez, good pack so far. Another mantle, home run number one. Can we really put that mantle on the Oma watch list? I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. We did put Abraham Lincoln on there, so <laughs> I can't put the Mick on a, on the, any kind of Oma list. 
He's exempt. Lofton starts this pack off. We have an insert coming up. It's going to be a Vladimir Guerrero Tops 2K All Stars. Cool card. And what do we have here? Orlando Hudson. Gold Glove Award. Propaganda piece. And Red Sox team card in that pack. Four left. This very quick rip. As always, suggestions on future Needle Wax stack. Feel free to drop them down below. I'm not sure it'll be next month yet, but uh, you know, older boxes that may have autographs, like for instance, 93 Leaf Update has possible Frank Thomas autograph, which would be an awesome pool. We got Mo Rivera starting off. Julian Tavares. There, <laughs> what is with this? Every pack has got a mantle insert. Angels team card. <laughs> Pretty wild. And then there were three. And if you're wondering why my hand looks dirty, it's actually a stamp from the Toy Ho Toy Hio Toy Show today. I spent most of my day out on the road buying up cards and older action figures. So I will have a weekend recap tomorrow night to show you everything I brought home with me. Bobby Cox caught off guard. We got something nice coming up in here. Who's it gonna be? Bartolo Colon owned the game insert. So doing pretty decent with the inserts in the blaster. Brian Pena and Dan Wheeler ends that pack. Two left. No sign of Alex Gordon. It'd be crazy if I found that in the very first box I opened for the series. <laughs> Not my luck for that to happen, but uh, let's see if we can turn it around here. Another Bonds home run history. 678 now shows up. Steve Klein ends that pack. The last one for this super short 06 tops rip. And like I said, uh, if you're looking for the Alex Gordon yourself, it's in series. He's in series one. So if you find random packs loose or blasters and you want to try your luck too, definitely make sure you get series one. We got something in here Declaration of Independence from Mark Kotze. And it's not a cut signature card, but John Morton. Not the John Morton that played for the Dallas Cowboys back in the 90s, who I was temporarily pumped on. Larry Walker, check this card in. Mariners team card ends this 06 rip. So, no bueno on the Alex Gordon rookie, but still got another one. I'm not going to give up that easily. But all in all, I said we did all right with uh, what we pulled out of there. But uh, drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see this rip once again or what your favorite card was. I'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, I appreciate you all watching. And I'll see you back tomorrow night for the weekend recap. Have a great night, guys.